Mwenyekiti wa chama cha Amani National Congress yani ANC Musali ya Mudavadi ameonya kwamba serikali inapinga ama inapanga kuwatumbukiza wa Kenya kwenye lindi la umaskini kupitia sheria kandamizi za utozaji ushuru zinazotarajiwa kutungwa hivi karibuni akizungumza na wanahabari Mudavadi alidai serikali kupitia Wizara ya Fedha inapanga kuwasilisha bungeni mswada wenye malengo ya kupandisha kiwango cha ushuru kwa wakenya ili kusaidia serikali kulipa madeni mengi ambayo inadaiwa Income Tax Bill 2018 will shortly be on the floor of Parliament for legislation. As has happened with a number of other bad laws in the past, the Executive expects Parliament will rubber stamp this bill without logic or reason. Both Parliament and the citizens need to be sensitized on the harmful and mischievous nature of this law. While aspects some aspects of the proposed bill are good. The sections on capital gains tax are fatally flawed. They therefore make this a bad law. At the very least, Parliament must amend these sections, barring which it must reject the whole bill. The harmful Income Tax Bill 2018 has everything to do with ill-advised loans and reckless physical practices that the Jubilee government is in love with. Kongine kwa mtazamaji muungano wa wafanyikazi wa vyuo vikuu kusu umetofautiana na muungano wa hadhiri wa vyuo vikuu uwasu uliotangaza kufutilia mbali mgomo wao hapo jana baada ya kuwafikia makubaliano na kurejea kazini na baraza kuu la wakuu wa vyuo vikuu IPU CCF. Katibu mkuu wa kusu Charles Mukwaya amesema kwamba japo IPU CCF ilionyesha kuwa na kuwapa nyongeza ya asilimia moja nukta saba tano kwa kipindi cha kati ya mwaka 2017 hadi 2021 kiwango hicho mtazamaji ni hafifu mno na kusisitiza kwamba wanachama wao wataendelea kugoma ikumbukwe mtazamaji kwamba muungano wa wahadhiri uwasu umekuwa ukikumbwa na kesi kwenye mahakama iliyoharamisha mgomo wao mnamo mwezi machi The Inter-Public Universities Council's Consultative Forum, otherwise known as IPUCCF, tabled a counter-offer from the government to us on Saturday in Jacaranda Hotel in Westlands, Nairobi. However, that particular counter-offer, which amounted to 1.75% increase on the basic salaries and 0% increase on the housing allowance for the workers in all our public universities and their constituent colleges was an insult to these workers because it failed totally to address the pertinent and salient issues which the union had raised in its proposal of the same CBA. Our members stay on, continue, escalate, upscale, and intensify the strike. And when those who are concerned will be willing to come and sit down with us, we are more than ready, even tonight. They can come, we will sit, we will look at the possible amicable solutions to this problem. Without that, the game is the same.